Hey, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a hypnotic techno synth sound. It'll sound like this. That's what our hypnotic techno synth is going to sound like. This is the pattern that I'm going to be using today. You can use this one or a different one. It's pretty complex pattern I've got here, so you don't have to use it by any means, but that's what I'm going to be using. So let's go into Vital. Okay, so in Oscillator 1, let's choose three graces. And I'm going to just adjust this to roughly about here. I'm also going to view that in 3D mode instead of 2D mode, and you'll see why soon. Uh, oscillator 2, we're going to choose pink noise, which was there. And I'll adjust that up as well. So let's have a listen to what this is going to sound like. Adjusting the level down a little. Next, I'm going to switch on the SMP and change white noise to BART. Going to adjust the level of that as well. Alright, then we'll turn on filter 1. I just want the standard analog 12 dB, but I'm going to adjust the resonance down. So it's a little flatter, not quite perfectly flat, but just a little flatter. And I'm going to bring the cutoff up to about midway. Just making sure that oscillator 1 is going into filter 1. We don't need to worry about oscillator 2 going into filter 1. That is fine. Next, let's go into envelope 2 and adjust the shape. Right, I wanted a little bit more like this, I think. And then I'm going to use envelope 2, and that is going to modulate our oscillator 1 waveform. So I'm going to drag it into here until we see that icon right there. Let's play that and let's see what happens. Here it's this. Next we want to go to LFO1, we can leave it as a triangle, and we're going to use LFO1 to modulate our filter 1 cutoff. So we'll sound like this. Okay, and lastly, we will go into the effects. Let's switch on the compressor. Start with that. Just going to play with that a little bit. I'm going to turn <laughs> this down quite a bit. Or you won't even be able to hear me. Got to be careful of that peaking. Pushing the mids. All right, next we'll add some distortion in.
Then we'll go for a little flanger. Then we'll add some delay. Lastly, some reverb. And there's our finished sound. So enjoy that one and I'll see you for the next one. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.